in 1888, the forefathers of New Zealand and Māori All Blacks rugby. The New Zealand natives played their very first match, beating Ireland 13-4 at Lansdowne Road in Dublin. Tonight, 134 years later, they meet the Māori All Blacks for the second time as they begin their seventh and highly anticipated tour of Aotearoa, New Zealand. Bind. Like Bundyaki might be the one to hit it up nice and short. Set. Get well over the advantage line. Keep an eye on James Hume as well. And they do win a penalty here, Ireland. Your feet are too long back. So the first penalty of the game goes to the tourists. Well, Kieran Frawley was ruled out for six weeks of the United Rugby Championship with a facial injury. Came back and made a real impact. And for the first points tonight in Hamilton. Over it goes. Kieran Frawley converts the penalty goal. Brad Weber looks down the short side here, and he finds a flying Sean Stevenson. He's taken down inside Ireland's 22. Quick ball for Grace. Good hands. And now Ollie Norris again. Penalty advantage. Some Brad, good hands advantage. from the Marty All Blacks. They've got a penalty advantage here. Sullivan. Now you are there trying to spin out of the tackle of Bundy Aki. Advantage. He goes searching for the offside. ball. And he a right. You've got to come back down. Ball down Buns was playing an advantage for the offside. Penalty here or penalty? So, there. after conceding the early penalty goal, the Māori All Blacks will have a chance to level yep. things up. That's Easy as you like from Ioane. Now for Isaiah uh, Walker Leawiri, an offside advantage here for the Māori All Blacks. Norris, he's driven back strongly by Coombs, but now Weber goes up inside. You on it, Harmon. He's close, Billy Harmon. Weber again, numbers. Sullivan. Ha ha, San Sullivan. Some good carries here as we look at the finishing. He just trains up to Ioane. Billy Harmon recycles and watch this here. From the captain, gets it out nice and plenty of work still to do. Right foot, step over, he goes, KT, lovely. Oh, the speed of Ruck has been a real key. You're right, though, Mills, you see there, defences over chases, puts the right foot in a Pukana, yes, sir. Oh, Kerry Treadwell making the calls for Ireland. They win the line out, and Timoney off the back for Coombs, and there it is for Ruck. see here look at this beautiful the offload draws at two players and he just slides in the Bundy and scores their first try of the tour yeah Gavin Coombs it was the number eight they had a pod set upside outside him decides to go short to Bundy Aki and welcome home son such a key part of Leon McDonald's side this season in Auckland as Suat Fua was ridden to ground by McCarthy and Co another penalty advantage here not a clear release from Ireland, so poor Hippie. He's looked good at second five. Oh, Sullivan this time. They were no playing a penalty 12, advantage, puts it down. Release. And that one against Bundy Arke. Another opportunity here just for Joshua to reset that radar. Right. 42 hour, Joshua. Oh, this time with the extra range, no mistake from Joshua Ne. Kiran Frawley sends this high. They're drifting just outside of the 22. Sullivan again. What an excellent take by the fullback under some pressure. Sua Fua out the back door for you, Ne. Joshua Ne. He's got Weber in support. So too, Stevenson. Short Stevenson, brilliant. Wonderful, but you've got to give it to the young man's aunt Sullivan once again. A nice take up in the beautiful 
technique, but the ability to break some tackles in. Have a look at this quick ball, gets the ball right out there. So four, he's been really good as well, and then sizing it up. Joshua Arnett just puts it outside to Sean Stevenson. He puts the foot down, plenty of pace. Great try, the Māori All Blacks. Ireland, free kick. I've asked you three times. So a free kick the way of the Māori All Blacks. Cullen Grace needs no second invitation. Harmon, they are full of running now. Walker, Leo Wede. You won it. Short pass. Propped it. Fully propped it. Good defence from the veteran Touch Keith on, Earls. But it's on here for the Māori All Blacks again. Lomax. The man who helped destroy that Irish scrum just moments ago. You won it. Quick pass. Poepe. Just and Weber. Brad Weber's in. Oh, nicely done here. Yeah. Cullen Grace initially when he quick took the quick tap. It's this interplay. Short ball, fight. Look at, watch this. Clean out here. Garden bash it. And he just opens up that inside. O'Brien oh, again. Spice some space, but does pull there for Sullivan. Cool as you like. Gets it off to Stevenson. Now Stevenson moves. More support for the Look at the support players, though, Millsy. We know how this guy can gash. Sean Stevenson just so smooth across the deck. Billy Harmon, well, he keeps his composure. Just uses his legs just to tap it along. You can see here, because he knows he's got a lot of supporters inside, doesn't have to rush. Look at that, Cullen Grace on debut. Congratulations. What a first half of rugby by the Māori All Blacks. Some statement, four tries to one. They lead Ireland at halftime, 32 points to 10. Now Coombs again, Frawley, little short pass for Treadwell. Now it's for O'Brien. This is more like it from Ireland. Kieran Frawley for Earls. Keith Earls tries to step back and field, but he's met by Billy Proctor. Still on now for Ireland as they batter the Māori All Blacks. They're close. They're just short. So it's ended up, up over the line. This is whether that first ground is short or not, isn't it? Yeah. So that's when it's just his placement here about whether he gets it on the line. Well, he's short there. So, <laughs> you've got better eyesight than me, Bundy. <laughs> the initial grounding is short. It is then gone, it's gone over and held up in goal. Okay, so grounding short, it's then held up in goal, so it's goal line drop. Yep. That's correct. Okay. No try. Goal line drop. So, Ireland can't crack the Māori All Blacks for the second try. Timoney once more. Advantage offside. They've got another offside advantage, Island. They bear. They'll keep it tight here. They're going to move it forward through Coombs. He's got support. That's held up. Offside. Barnes will come back. Five out. Fellas, you had the warning. TJ, you had the warning. OK, you're back on that warning. OK, OK, you must move. First guard. Well, Dave Heffernan liked the tap option earlier on. And you know what? Well, Scannell says, let's do that again. So Ireland search their second try. They're just out. They're close. Half a metre in it. They're over. I've got it. Well, it's taken them a wee while. But finally, the Irish have broken the defensive line. It was Coombs. He's had a steady game tonight. Some good ball carries it's well deserved but it needed plenty of patience and hard work here we go here another tap they built nice and close plenty of contact but he had support as well over he goes 
for his try. Well, that is a lovely strike. Converts the try to Ireland's number eight, Gavin Coombs. They have their second try of the tour. Time up at Hamilton. Oh, just losing it for Ireland. Prendergast tries to clean it up, but the whistle goes. And 12 years after their famous nights in Rotorua, the Māori All Blacks once again have beaten Ireland. Uh, they certainly have plenty to ponder here for the Irish. But there's glimpses to Andy Farrell's team. And what do they change leading into this weekend's big test match? For the Māori All Blacks, well, they blew them away right from the get-go with some class.